you come out on the other side. And like sometimes it's those hard things that happen in between that help you get to the other side, that help you become that person who has the confidence. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla and welcome to my channel where we talk all about project management and lean teams and startup organizations. Before I get started with today's topic, I wanna to ask you to please like and subscribe. I really wanna put out content that is helpful to those of you who are um, either in this line of work and project management with smaller teams or startup companies. Um, and so let me know what is helpful for you to hear about, what you wanna hear about, I'm here to help you, so let me know what is useful to you and we'll talk about it. Okay, today's topic is something that has historically been really difficult for me to address and to talk about personally, but I know it's something a lot of people are working through right now and experiencing, struggling with, so I wanted to just share my own personal experience about this topic. What we're gonna talk about today is layoffs. And I've experienced layoffs several times uh, across the course of my career. And it's something that I did not expect to experience when I graduated from college and went into the workforce. I grew up during a time and in a family and an environment where layoffs just weren't happening. And um, you know, it's something that didn't cross my mind. So starting my career uh, with one of the first jobs I had out of college, experiencing a big layoff was like a wake up call to me. Ultimately, I think it was a positive thing for me. I believe it was a positive thing for me because it's kind of like shaped the way that I've seen the workplace and the world and my career and the control that I have over those different pieces. Yeah, to share with you a bit about the first time I experienced a layoff, this was probably the most traumatic one for me. It was my second job out of college and I had relocated myself across several states to a city that was a lot bigger than what I was used to living in, a place where I didn't really know a lot of people. And the job I landed was kind of like my dream job. I was really excited about this job that I had. So this was 2008 and we all know what happened in 2008. We had a recession and the industry that I was working in was travel and tourism. So that gets hit the fastest and the hardest um, during this time. And the company that I was working for had to lay off a lot of people in the corporate office. And while I was not one of the people who got laid off, I did experience the layoff in that I was there when announcements were being made. I was there to watch people pack up their boxes and have to leave the office, people that had families, people that had worked there for years. I felt a lot of guilt because I was one of the newest people there and I did not get laid off. Um, so I did feel some guilt for that. However, it was required of me to move to another department. They relocated me. And the department and the position that I was relocated to was not at all my dream job. And it was not at all what I wanted to do. And so I was um, struggling with that. At the time, I was not a parent. It was just me. I was very young and I felt like maybe I didn't deserve this chance. But I also felt um, sort of guilty for not enjoying my work and not enjoying the position that I had been put in. So I was struggling with all of these feelings. And what eventually happened was I decided for myself that this was not the job that I wanted to do. And however, I had options. And one of the options that I really started exploring was entrepreneurship or business ownership for myself, starting my own business, doing something that I was excited about and that I wanted to do. Entrepreneurship was always something that I was drawn to. Uh, it was something that I focused on in my studies in university. And I had actually had the opportunity to help uh, a family member start a business while I was going to school and getting my degree. So um, it was something that something that I felt like I could do. And ultimately what I did was I left that job, that job that I didn't really want, and I started my own business. And I did that for several years. And throughout those years, I actually met 
other business owners and helped them, worked with them on starting their businesses. We were kind of learning together, right? I wasn't an expert yet or anything like that, but I was just learning and I was helping people start their businesses and we were figuring out what worked, what didn't work. I was running my own business and a lot of times I was kind of running blind with it, but um, it gave me a lot of experience in business in general and just like how the world works. So that was a that was a huge positive that came out of that experience for me, but at the time it was totally traumatic. It it was just and like I say it was the first time I experienced a layoff. So I didn't really know what to do with that, what to expect. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I I just couldn't. So the second time I experienced a layoff. I was working at a startup, a really small startup, and um, it was just a few of us, and we were trying to get an MVP out the door. And this layoff was also disappointing because I personally, I loved this team. Like I loved this team so much and I loved the work that we were doing and I loved how we meshed and I just wanted so badly for us to fly. That is what I wanted more than anything. And it's interesting because I did end up experiencing the layoff there and I was later on in my career and I was a parent and I had a lot more responsibilities like property ownership and bills and all kinds of stuff. I couldn't just move back in with my parents. I mean, I guess I could, but um, it wasn't like I was 22 or 23 anymore. It was like I'm a full grown adult and I have my own responsibilities. But experiencing that layoff was while it was disappointing and sad and kind of like traumatic in a way, it wasn't in the same way that that first layoff was. It wasn't unexpected because I think I had come to terms with the, the fact that this is sort of like how it goes, in, especially in startup. Um, I knew that sometimes you fly, sometimes you don't. That's what I signed up for, right? Was like working for this company that has some instability. And I knew that that was a risk that I was assuming when I worked for them. I think the other big piece for me is that I was prepared. I was prepared um, financially more than anything because I had created a situation for myself where I had multiple income streams, which is something that I always recommend if you're going to be working, especially if you're going to be working in startup or any sort of industry that has some volatility to it, which seems like just about anything these days. But to have the multiple sources of income, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, something where you're like, okay, I could at least buy myself food or I could at least pay you know, my mortgage or my rent payment um, to kind of like get you along. Uh, that I didn't feel devastated, like financially devastated. I didn't feel those things. I just truly felt disappointed that it didn't work out and that I had to had to leave that team. But that was a lesson that I think I had learned from early on losing that job. I knew and that's something actually that I had been coached on very early in my career by a manager that I had who said, always have multiple sources of income. And that just sort of stuck in my head. And I've lived my life like that. So layoffs have not been as traumatic or like financially devastating. But I certainly recognize that that is something that a lot of people, like that's a real thing that will occur um, when the layoff happens. And so it, it feels very scary. But what I've learned the most from layoffs is that there's so much opportunity out there. And sometimes because we're so like in it with our jobs and like focused on our jobs that we don't really see the opportunity outside of that. And that's something that layoffs have done for me is to open my eyes to like, oh my gosh, there's so many different ways that I could like make a living, make some money, enjoy myself, use my skills. There's so many different ways that I can do that than just working in this one particular lane. So it's really opened my eyes to that. This is one of the reasons why I feel so comfortable working in a freelance capacity because I have experienced this on more than one occasion and I have seen uh, many people go through this as well and what it means for their lives and that 
you come out on the other side. And like sometimes it's those hard things that happen in between that help you get to the other side, that help you become that person who has the confidence to work with these teams. Um, if I had not gone through those things and experienced it and seen what happens when a company is successful and what happens when a company fails, I wouldn't have the insight that I have right now as a consultant. Um, I wouldn't be able to have these conversations and provide the insight that I do with these companies. So that's something good that's happened from layoffs. You find also what your strengths are when you get laid off. You do a lot of, if you're open to it, you can have a lot of self-reflection. You can, it allowed me time and space to really like analyze all of the positions I had and what I liked about those positions and what I was good at in those positions and what I could have done better. Like it really allows you that time and that space to critically think through your career, professionally, how you've grown in like some areas where you could grow. It helps you identify what you're really good at because every time you write your resume, rewrite your resume, you have to think about those things. Okay, what have I learned in the past year and how can I take that forward? That's something that that was really great for me that came out of the layoffs was that that critical thinking and the self-reflection. Now, I'm not minimizing the fact that it is devastating and it feels awful and it can be depressing, um, but I am saying don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck there because there's future there's future and future is as good as you want it to be. So focus on that as opposed to the layoff and the bad stuff, etc. Layoffs are just something that happened in the world. It's something that happens in business. It's not going away. For us to develop like coping skills and things that can be helpful to us to get through it, that's really the important part. I hope this is helpful to you either if you're navigating this right now for yourself or worried about it for the future. Layoffs are something that happen, but they're not, we don't need to be scared of them. I'll see you next time.